Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 32, and this is war number eight. And we're going to be an alliance that I cannot read their name. I am so sorry. Um, now, we're going to go look at the defense, but I'm going to do it in a little different way uh, than I have been previously. Instead of just spectating, I'm going to actually continue... And then I'm going to, from this screen, go to the preview. And the reason I want to do that is that I can see who is banned right off the bat before I plan who I'm going to bring in, in case someone I was planning to bring in is banned. And you see, uh, I don't usually bring in Human Torch or Ghost, but I do bring in Hercules. But I won't be able to this time. Now, this team that I have here, I may stay with, I may not. So let's go ahead and preview. All right. And I take path three in sections one and two. So we've got Captain Marvel movie version. We've got uh, Red Goblin. And for the mini, we've got Man-Thing. I would really rather not deal with that Man-Thing. He's a bit tanky. Um, but if I have to, I will fight him with Warlock. And as far as Captain Marvel movie and Red Goblin, um, Black Widow, Clairvoyant can handle both of them. Uh, although I would rather bring in Nick Fury for that Captain Marvel movie just because um, of his extra life. And I would certainly have brought in Hercules if I could have. All right, so um, Warlock could also do that fight, but this one right here, uh, the thing that I worry about is the uh, shock. But Claire, she can uh, nullify the armor up so there's less of a chance that I get shocked to death. So that's why um, I'm thinking Claire for that fight. And she can also handle uh, Red Goblin. As far as that mini goes, the only one that I would uh, want to use would be Warlock. Uh, if I had to, I really wouldn't like to use uh, Black Widow, but I could. Uh, she could do that fight as well. All right. And they already took out the middle there. We've got Professor X on Mixmaster. I won't deal with him. We've got Apocalypse. I could do that fight with uh, Spider-Man 2099. Uh, we'll see what happens when I wake up. Uh, if they haven't taken him out, I will. Then we've got uh, Colossus. You already know, if you've been watching my videos, that's clairvoyant all day, every day. Uh, we've got Wasp. Claire can do that fight as well. And then we've got Nimrod. Perhaps a uh, rematch. And I will fight him with Warlock and try to redeem Warlock's honor. And then we've got Mini Boss Island. Um, Spider-Man 2099 can deal with that Magneto. Uh, so we'll see if I uh, get a chance to fight him. Other than that, uh, around this Mini Boss Island... Claire could take that uh, Nova. Warlock usually can take out uh, Bishop, although I've died to him sometimes uh, with Warlock. Uh, Iron Man Infinity War there. I wouldn't fight him unless I was told to. Uh, stunning Reflection in the bottom right-hand corner. Uh, would be possibly Warlock. And Spider-Ham. Really, 
that would be an annoying fight. So I, I would try to stay away from that with, with the champs that I have uh, to use. Preferably, uh, I would fight him with someone who can deal with the evades. And uh, I don't really have anyone. Uh, Spider-Man 2099, kind of, but not really. <laughs> so we'll have to see uh, how that goes when I get uh, to Mini Boss Island. But uh, I can take the boss if no one else uh, grabs the boss first. All right, so... That's the plan of attack, and we'll see what happens um, when uh, my alliance mates wake up. But for now, I'm going to take those two fights, and then I'm going to wait and see uh, what happens after I wake up if they take that man thing. If not, I'll fight him uh, with Warlock. All right, let's get to the fighting. All right. Now, Spider-Man 2099, Warlock, um, and who else did I bring? Uh, Claire. And I'm looking forward to a rematch with Nimrod. All right, so first fight, we are dealing with Captain Marvel. Uh, we say Captain Marvel, the movie version, but I guess she is now just... Captain Marvel. She's got a few things, high ground, all that activated. We don't care. All right. Now, the one thing that I was kind of concerned about was the hit me, I dare you, and that shock. I didn't want to die to shock damage. So I need to kill her quickly so that I don't have to deal with that. And the more damage I can do, the better. All right, so, so far so good. You can see we're just chewing her up. We're still at full health. That happens more often than I like. I tried to swipe back and just get hit. It's okay. All right, she's almost dead and she's done. So, little bit of a uh, issue there, but not that bad. She still came out, you know, in, in fairly good health. Okay. Now we've got Red Goblin. And he's not difficult to fight to me. I could actually fight him with any of the champions that I brought. Uh, but I think I brought, um, I fought him with Claire because of that armor. And she can strip that armor away. And one thing uh, to note when you see a node that reduces the chance to nullify, just remember that Claire, even with a reduction in her chance to nullify, she gets so many chances to nullify that she's going to nullify. It may take a while, but, you know, in a few uh, five hit combos, she's going to nullify. OK, so not usually something that I concern myself with. All right. Now, I don't like his special two. Just like Green Goblin's special two, I don't like his special two. Uh, so I try to keep it to a special one. Now, uh, just something that, that irks me sometimes, the color of some of the buffs, like the true accuracy, you see that there? I'm paying attention, trying to bait things out, and in the corner of my eye, I see a blue text. And I'm like, oh my goodness, is he unblockable? And that can cause you to get messed up. Okay. Now I knew what it was and I've gotten a little bit better at that, but I would love it if it was a different color. Uh, Cause when I see that blue over there, I usually think unblockable. I'm not worried about the true accuracy, but that unblockable, that's something that I gotta be concerned with. All right, so I waited, I came back, and it was magically cleared, all right? So I went ahead, middle was already cleared. So on to section two. And there's our boy Colossus, you already know. 
Claire destroys him on this node. Uh, there are other options, but for this node, I love Claire. There's not been too many times that I've faced somebody here that Claire wasn't a good option for. Um, she's just great for that node. And I try to boost up. I have so many boosts and they expire a lot. So the only time you won't see me boosting is if I just forgot. All right, so you can see her. She's stripping away all of his armor. Now they're gone. And she's at a special two already. Lovely. If I were running Mystic Dispersion, which I'm not, um, it would be even crazier. Um, if I could find a way to run full suicides and Mystic Dispersion, I might be tempted to do that. Uh, in fact, I could probably, I would have to give up my maxed out uh, Deep Wounds. Yeah. And maybe a point or two somewhere else uh, in order to do that. But it's it's not really worth it. If I played a lot more with uh, Mystic Champions, maybe that'd be worth it. Um, I have it unlocked to three. I used to have all of them unlocked, but I found that three was a good place. And I didn't really like playing with uh, four or five. Now, if it's a champion, you want to cycle their special threes a lot, then you want maxed out. But if you want a little bit more control, like with her, there's times I want to run her special two more often to heal up, to do uh, power, you know, control. And if I keep going to the special three, then that's that. All right. So you got to be careful with Wasp here. All right. She can wreck you really quick. So I'm trying to focus, trying to uh, bait out some uh, attacks here. Okay, we want to bait that out. I can't evade her special two very well. So I try my best to just bait her special ones out. Even if she evades and, and puts a little shock on me, it's not that big of a deal. Okay. All right. So down she goes. She doesn't have a lot of health. So it's not that big of a deal. Now we've got Nimrod. Nimrod got us the last time. This time we are ready for him. We are going to go in with Warlock and we know how to fight this guy. We're going to get him. Okay. So I'm looking, I've been looking forward to this rematch since I saw that he was on that note again. I said, okay, good, 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 good. All right, so you see I'm boosting up with my tech boosts, making sure that I'll be able to get off a special, uh, maybe even two. Uh, I don't play the node. I probably should play the node, but I usually don't. I just boost up and just try to go hard with a champion that doesn't really need a lot of specials so that it's not a big deal if I don't get my specials. All right, so here we go. Rematch. We parry, parry. We want to get the infection up. Okay, we don't want him uh, regenning. There we go, he's infected. Now we're going in for the attack. Okay, parry, here we go. He locked me a little bit, that's fine. Okay, I evaded out of the last part of it. He tried to uh, regen, didn't matter. Look at that, boom. We're doing awesome, all right? So here we go. Look at this, he's almost at half health already. And I haven't even been touched, all right? This time, I wasn't even playing with it. That's how he got me last time. So I was like, nope, we just blocking it. Look, it didn't even do that much damage. It's not worth it to try to evade that special two when the special two could take you out. So look at me, awesome, awesome, for the doom. Don't know what happened there, but eh, it's okay. We're cool. We're cool. All right. <clears throat> Still doing good. And he's almost down. Okay. Do -do -doom. No problem. Just blocked it. Okay. Don't want him to be regening up. Okay. Another special one. And this is looking awesome. All right. Started taking hits to the face. Don't know why. 
All right, but that's fine. All right, he's infected again. He's almost dead, almost dead here. So there we go. I went in for the kill and didn't kill him. Just didn't kill him. And now a special three. And I'm like, okay, well, I've got a lot of health. Look at this, look at this. I survived it. I did not. Y'all don't know how frustrated I was. Second time he's taken me out. And it was all my fault. All my fault. I should have baited out that last special two and then taken him out. But instead, I got happy. And I was like, yeah, I got him. Got bloodthirsty and was like, I can finish him off. And I couldn't finish him off. Oh, I was not happy about this. So I was, I would say I was a little salty. And if y'all know anything about me, when I get upset, I go on a rampage. I want blood. I'm not trying to let nobody go home to their mama and tell them how they just took me out twice like that. So I wasn't waiting for nobody else to take out this Nimrod. He was mine. He's mine. Just chill. Don't nobody touch him because I'm going to get ill. See if y'all know where that's from. Leave in the comments, all my old heads, if y'all know where that's from. Anyway, Nimrod is down, but I'm not done. Not done by a long shot. All right? So I'm looking up here, and I'm like, huh, okay. We got somebody um, on the right-hand side, but I already told everybody I'm, I'm ticked. At this point, I'm ticked. All right? Now, you can see here, look at our defender kills. We've already lost this one. Okay, so not a big deal. I can let off some steam if I want to. So Bishop, you next on the chopping block. That's right. So of course I'm going in with Warlock and I've learned now uh, how to read his persistent charges so that I can see when he has some power going in there and that sort of thing. If somebody has already fought him and lost, if they left him with a lot of power, but it's all good. Now this time, just in case, put a little uh, boost on it. And now we gonna smack up Bishop. And I can tell you in the mood that I'm in and knowing that we've already lost this war, Bishop going down. If I don't get the one shot, it don't matter. I'm gonna come back, revive, heal up, and I'm going back at him. Cause he going down. Yeah, I was in one of them moods. Okay, there we go. Don't care about all that. Okay, just waiting for my turn. Yep, get him with that special two. Look at that damage. Boom. But look at all that. Look at the um incinerates. But that's okay, cause my boosts. Boom. Look at this, look at this, look at this. That was two in a row. And then to finish it off, those boosts are nice, aren't they? Very, very nice. I looked at those incinerates and I'm like, oh man, is he gonna take me out like that? I hope not, but he didn't. So I'm still bloodthirsty. I'm not done, I'm not done. So now we've got Symbiote Supreme. All of this because Nimrod beat me another time. Mm -mm, not having it. <clears throat> now, uh, again, I'm going in with Warlock. Why? Because Warlock is the one that lost to Nimrod. Y'all understand now? Okay. So that's why Warlock is getting healed back up and tossed back in there. You do your thing. I'm not letting him go out like that. Okay, so I'm trying to get the infections up and all that good stuff. Try to control her power. They're running suicide, so that helps out a lot. Look at this, ba-boom. And I already got one bar power back. And it's looking like this will be nice. You see her power draining. All good, hit him with a heavy. And we got another special two. Finish it off. 
But if you think I'm done, I'm not. Because we still have the boss. And I told my alliance that I got something to talk to that boss about. I want to talk to him. Magneto, I got some words for you. And my alliance, when the boss was cleared, said, go for it. He's ready for that conversation. And so now, enjoy the conversation with Magneto. <laughs> is the end of that conversation. I felt a whole lot better after that fight. Anyway, uh, in a minute, we'll be back. And of course, we're pretty sure how this war ended, but let's take a little brief break and we'll be back and you will see how this war ended. And we're back. And of course, as no surprise, we lost this war. Um, but as you can see here, 13 to 31. Just reverse those numbers digits. But anyway, I got MVP. Shout out to all of my fellow MVPers. Uh, but that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day. Thank you.